Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog of day, and today is Friday the 19th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning, fairly decent time frame, a little later than I have been getting up here, but got up, got around, and um, basically didn't get too much accomplished, kind of checking out, hanging out in the morning. Um, my lovely bride got up finally, and we discussed it, she decided she wanted to go home today, which... It was fine. We almost went home a couple days ago and whatnot with her leg hurting like it is. But she wanted to get home in time so she could go hit up urgent care tomorrow and get an x-ray at least on her leg. It was her big goal. So we decided without knowing we were going home that we pretty much had to start packing everything up, getting it ready. We kind of didn't have it too bad. You know, we didn't really make that big of a mess. Our stuff spread out and getting things around. And one of the big things here is there's no garbage pickup up here in the mountains. So you have to take it like to the recycling center. But um the trash depot we want to call it but you have to have like a card to tell them who you are and where you live and they present you a new card every few months or so you actually have used to it well i asked my wife earlier about the trip i'm like hey make sure we know exactly how to do this she goes well there's less in the back and there's information and stuff i'm like yeah but we want to make sure we get this done like we want to do it right we want to have everything we need and turns out they don't open until one o'clock and we're going to be gone by one so Ended up dragging all of our trash home, which wasn't a big deal. It's only like two, like small bags, but it was more of a pain in the butt. So I was like, "Well, see, that's why." She goes, "Well, it's gonna wait. It's gonna call her today and say, I'm like, but why not just ask her? The other six days we were up here, you could ask her exactly to verify or check these things and see what it is, what you needed, because there was no benefit to not asking her. And she's like, "Yeah, I guess it wasn't, but it is what it is." So. One of the hits we didn't bring trash home with us, but went through packing up and somehow we bought like not much here. I bought a hat and then like some food and stuff, but somehow the car didn't pack as good going home. Like we seemed like the car was much more stuffed full going home than it was coming up, but who knows? So we got the cooler um, plugged in or got turned on, I guess it was still plugged in. We got it um, running in the car, got all our milks and our sandwich um, supplies and whatnot, and everything in the, in the cooler. Got my sodas and stuff, my ice my frozen soda for the trip home and basically hung around in the morning then i got about done with everything in the house and put in the car and she was still getting around slowly with her leg hurting a lot so as we're getting things done getting the bedding changed out and all that kind of stuff you do when you're leaving make sure the water's turned off and the hot water heater's turned off and all that kind of stuff and went ahead went and got my run in which sucks running up here in the mountains because it's so steep man these driveways up here are just trash this little private road thing it's super steep so it was kind of ran right around there, did not run very far, but I kept my run streak alive, so I don't think it really mattered. So, got my run streak done, got back, finished getting everything I needed I could do in the car, get it ready to go, and then jumped in the shower real quick. That's when I turned off the water and I had to make sure I got my shower first. Get everything all ready for the house to close it up and head back. And then we jumped in the car and headed out and asked her if she's wanting to stop for breakfast and whatnot. She's like, ah, not really. But if she's something I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna eat junk then. I'm just gonna eat snacks all day on my home. So we headed back and because her leg seems to get much more sore, she doesn't really hurt when she's sitting, but the longer we sit between her moving, when she does move, it hurts like shit. So I, I kind of decided every hour, hour and a half, I was gonna stop, which I was gonna delay her time getting home, but who cares? So also we weren't certain if we were making it home today with her leg or if we we're gonna stop at a hotel somewhere. But we just started driving, and I'm not sure what time we left. It was, I, mean, I don't remember, to be honest with you. I really remember. I remember the um, GPS said we'd be home at like 8, I think 8.05 or something like that, 8.09. So I was like, okay, no big deal. It's never going to be the case. We got to stop all the time and stuff. So we headed out and just kept stopping in different little spots, getting gas and stopping, just stretching her legs and all the good fun that comes with trying to keep her leg from tightening up and just drove. There's really nothing happening. Um, hit a little bit of rain here and there, but nothing major. I did um, stop, so I had glasses that I bought yesterday. So I had sunglasses, which helped the drive back a lot. And just, when he was driving, we'd, she'd pick a podcast off my phone, then I'd pick a podcast off my phone, we just kind of went back and forth on that, and just drove all day. That's all we did, we just drove all day. Um, this is all a couple of places we'd stop, walk around, you know, stretch our legs, and just continue driving. That's pretty much all it was, all day. And then at one point, I asked her, I said, do you want to eat anything? And she's like, oh, maybe. I'm like, well, I, we near, we're gonna stop in the next you know 15 minutes so if you don't find some place to eat but then you want to eat then we're gonna just stop and you gotta find some place later but i need to get your leg stretched so she stopped we ended up stopping at dairy queen where she got a little i don't know burger and 
fries and whatever and like a little drink a little tiny sundae whatever little combo thing they have at Dairy Queen and she knocked it out I just kept eating some chips and snacking on stuff and just kind of chilling out then at one point I'm having a cigar and that helps kind of keep me distracted and kind of helps keep me awake so we headed on in and then we got pretty close to home and it was pretty late it was already past eight o'clock at night whatever and she just decided she's gonna eat real food or not like she asked me if i was gonna eat and i'm like well i really don't want to eat real food because like we went to like an actual restaurant type thing and then i eat a bunch and then i get like full then i don't want to like drive them on a full stomach so i made the mistake one time ate at a buffet on a road trip and damn that damn near killed me that was absolute misery i'll never make that mistake again so ended up um pulling off a little exit ramp thing found a place called captain d's it's like a new version of Bonbon Silvers is basically all it is and I said yeah I'll go ahead and it's like six bucks for a couple pieces of fish and some french fries and then two hush puppies which I tried to eat hush puppies I hate hush puppies but I thought I tried it it's been so long and they're still gross so we knocked it out she got a fish and shrimp combo pack whatever and then we basically had those again my hush puppies she likes hush puppies so knocked it out we ended up having that for my dinner it was like I said it's 8 8 30 or some crap at this point and just rolling in we got home I don't know, 10, probably 11 o'clock, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, something like that. Come roll up in. So we lost a few hours in the drive, but we weren't trying to make the best time. I wanted her legs stretched as much as possible. So we kept stopping, letting her stretch her leg. So come pulling up as we get to the house. Of course, it's dark and stuff, but and my house is now a super dark blue as opposed to a light tan that it was. And she didn't know I was getting the house painted. She kind of had inklings that we discussed it off and on. But she goes, what's that in our yard? I'm like, I don't know. She goes, what? Is that like a sign in our yard? I'm like, I don't know. Because I know you're going to put a sign in my yard. But I guess the guy's painting my house, so I put a sign in my yard, which was fine, whatever. So I back in. She gets out and she realizes her house is now blue and white instead of tan and tan. And she's like, what the hell? And I'm like, yeah, I had that's been it while we're gone. So I was like, it worked out good because of timing. I could do it. I had the gates being open and stuff and dogs being there. So it worked out pretty well. And then he's supposed to start working on the other house, my other house across the street. Hopefully tomorrow, whatever. So I'm that one I'm not as concerned about. It's farther away, so really not a big deal. But it was a pain in the butt. I didn't want to have the gates open and deal with dog stuff you hear. Plus, I didn't want dogs getting in the paint, knocking a bucket over, or God knows what. So definitely not a big a deal there. So yeah, we got back home. She realized the house was painted and it's dark because so she really couldn't see it very much. And my outside lights by the porch don't work because I don't know exactly if he unhooked wires when he unhooked it which he may have, which kind of sucks. I'm like, if you're gonna take it off, just take them off, let them hang there, paint around it, put it back on. But I think he unhooked wires because the outlets appear to have power, which I don't have a drill or nothing, but the lights themselves are not working. So we'll worry about that later. Um, really not that big a concern for me, but it just sucks. I gotta figure out what he's done. But like I said, there is power out there. So, cause I see the little light for the test light for the, um, the, um, the ground fault interrupting outlets. So. I know it's got power, I just don't know exactly why the lights themselves are not working, So, which sucks because they're pretty new. They're not very old, so. but I think they're old enough they're past warranty, so if he did wire them up wrong and fry my bulbs, I'm out like 180 bucks, which it is what it is. So, I'm just like, just like, just take them loose, slide them out a little bit, paint behind it, push them back up, but hey, everybody's got their idea. They probably think, oh, it's easy, I'll just hook these wires, and then next thing you know, you don't know what you're doing, don't know how to put them back, so. But we got in here, I told her, I said, I'm taking in like her medication and stuff and whatnot. I said, what else do you need in? Like one big bag. And I said, I'm taking cold stuff out and that's pretty much it. And then, you know, she's like, that should be fine. So I hauled in a few things, got all the cold stuff out of the freezer, out of the fridge in the car, got it all put away. And my brain, when I'm driving home, I can't start to turn down my brain. And I'm afraid I'll fall asleep on the road. So once I got home, got her all packed away, got her situated on the, on the bed, got a knee brace on her and all that fun stuff. And then from there, went ahead and said held it and headed back outside to have myself a cigar and it was kind of weird my mom didn't even come out like acknowledge we were home so who knows she didn't even really say goodbye to me when we left didn't get a hug or nothing when we left so that was kind of a strange one and then that here now so anyways, i can't imagine she didn't wake up and hearing us come in but it is what it is so i had myself a cigar came back in finally and then my brain was still just wound up and I wasn't going to go to sleep. It was 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm still awake, but it is what it is. So anyway, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.